Hello and welcome back everybody. This is Lord Icon and today I'm actually doing something slightly different. As you can tell looking around this room, this is the same map area that I used for the Minechem um, mod spotlight. However, I've kind of went the next step and I set this up for a classroom learning experience. Um, I was thinking about it and I also have my kids playing on the game and one of them is really into elements. So something I went ahead and did is I built using computer craft using the new compa command computers the ability to play a game. Now you can play it with multiple people you can play it for the molecules or the elements uh, based upon what's in Minechem. So right now I'm just using um, open peripherals uh, computer craft and mine chem. Now I do have some added things in here uh, just for the purposes of making it more of a gaming experience. So you have the ability to take one. They, they come over here, they get their chemist journal set up so they can then go and do their microscope as needed, their decomposers, their synthesizers, fusion and the well, fission and fusion reactors. So what the uh, kids would do to learn the elements or molecules, depending on which level they want to go, they would just right click on that that they want to play. Now you have the subcategory of do you want to play it by name, do you want to play it by symbol, or do you want to play it by atomic number. Now just for the ease of this, I'm going to go ahead and choose it by name. And what it does is it goes through all of the elements that are in Minechem and it will display a random number generator of five of those elements. Now what you need to then do is you would then stand on this with the element. So example copper, I can again just for the gaming experience I gave them the ability to come over here and not break items but grab an item. There we go. So I grabbed an item I don't know what it's made from and then they would go and break that down um, to its base elements. Now I'm not going to be able to make copper from that, but I could get to a point where I can then combine that to make copper. So what I'm going to go ahead and do for the purpose of this video is I'm going to grab a copper. Now I have a copper. Let me turn that rain off real quick. have a copper and if I stand on the PEM here you see on the right hand side of my screen it says complete Lord Icon 1 right over here if I was playing multiple player it does show up with all of the different players um, as they collect the items now also if you don't want to see that over there you can also go show score and you can see Lord Icon has a score of 1 again I'm going to grab some more of these items So there's Tella, yeah, whatever the name is. Cassium. Whoop. Cassium. I think that's fluorine, I'm guessing. No. Can't see the L. Fluorine. I'm missing an L. Fluorine. So now if I walk over the PIM, it takes those items out of my inventory. It leaves the ones that are not being used. And now you can see I have a score of 4. Then the last one being plutonium. Which is radioactive, so once they make that, they're going to have to quickly get over here. I'm the first one to complete all five items. It comes up saying who is the winner and then you can restart the game. So for the next part here I'm going to go ahead and choose elements and I'll show you each one so you can go and you choose by symbol so the kids can go in they can learn the symbol I have TI I have S um, so I can then go find those elements breaking down items to then uh, see who can score first. So again I can go to restart go to elements and I can go by a atomic number so if I know what is the atomic number 9, 
So actually, since I have the periodic table over here, let's see. I don't think I picked that up. I sure did not. Um, they all start with this, so it's 409, 9. So there you go. I actually had two of the items in my inventory. It looked like 10 was in there too. And show the score, I now have two. So again, I wrote this little program up. Um, figured it would be something that could potentially be used by... Uh, either MindChem EDU or other people doing some learning within chemistry using Minecraft. So again, I have some other videos footage which I'll show, which is my um, my oldest son playing the game. And he actually knows the periodic table at this point now more than I do.